Welcome to the sixth episode of the Vegan Burger Review. This time we're tasting the cauliflower burger at Gott Reykjavik, a wholesome place with healthy ingredients. My guest this time is Becky Olofs. Becky is an amazing human being, a vegan athlete, has a master's degree in coaching psychology and does incredible lectures for groups and companies. Enjoy! Becky, thank you for coming here. I'm a fan. I'm gonna start with the potatoes here. I'm spicing mine on them. It's like crunched, fried. Yeah. It's got avocado. I love avocado. <laughs> I really love the bun. Really healthy looking. Tons of seed on it. It's crisp. It's a good size. Fits the burger. <laughs> it's. I mean, it's a heavy burger. But the bun holds it well together. So, what would you rate it? 8.5? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a 8.7. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got tomato, lettuce, spicy mayo, avocado. Yeah, I'm gonna use an eye on a fork for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> now the toppings. I think, as I said, like a good combination. It's not too much. Yeah. Yeah, I think the toppings, they match quite well. I'm gonna change the, on my bun rating to nine because the toasted flavors of the seeds are amazing. It really pops up. I never had this kind of burger before. I think it's, it's extremely good. It's soft, no crunch about it, except for the bread. What I value with, with this burger is it looks healthier than uh, normal buns. Mm How -hmm. about the toppings? It's not just the content, it's the quality as well. And the onion, I think. Yeah, onion yeah, is really yeah, good. yeah. Yeah, I'm quite positive as well, so. Really tasty, super fresh. It's like a 9.5 for me. I marked mine like 9.3. As I said, how it combines together. Yeah, it's a really tasty combo. It's a good mm. burger. The patty. I think it's made out of uh, sweet potato, actually. Cauliflower. Quinoa. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I value this. Yeah. And I know it's helpful. Yeah. And all the ingredients are healthy. I don't like the processed patties. The fake meat ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah I like this yeah. uh, patties more. I'm not used to uh, healthy burgers. So I like to put a lot of dirty stuff on them. But I also I do value healthy and good food. So, and this one is really... Mm. It's supposed to be a little bit moussey. And I mean, with the avocado and the sauce, I would love for the patty to be a little bit chewy, mm. but super tasty. But it sticks pretty well together though. So it's actually a really good one. Yeah. yeah. It's like a 9.2 for me. I give it 9.5. This is the first time I have a burger that go comes with a salad. I love the fact that it comes with the potatoes and the salad. Mm -hmm. It's not either. And the salad is super fresh and good. Mm. The messiness. Though, though they are a bit messy, they are not messy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even though I've been poking around in it. But it holds better than I thought. I agree. So I'm holding mine up now and it's, it's not falling apart. I love frozen ice when I eat. The 10 is of the messiness is very good. If it's too messy, you give it a bad grade. Yeah, bad yeah, yeah. Grade. Okay, okay. If it's perfectly messy. I mean, some burgers are supposed to be messy. The messiness is absolutely, it's almost perfect. Uh, this restaurant is really focused on healthy food, like good ingredients, and they definitely put their effort into making a good vegan burger. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of heart in it. Now the V factor. The V factor. The vegan X factor. It's a wow factor, you know? Yeah. The B factor for me yeah. in this burger is the healthy healthiness of the burger. There are not a, not a lot of burgers that are in th this standard. Normally you have processed bun, more processed patty, more processed things. The bun is quite tasty as well. Yes, I mean, it's got like three or four types of seeds on it. Things, see some seeds? Sunflower. Yeah, sunflower seeds. Flax yeah. seeds. Flax seeds, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. flax seeds. There's a lot of food in the burger. Yeah. It's not just a burger, one lettuce, and it's over. It's a lot of food in this burger. Mm -hmm. That's that's a V-factor as well, I think, for me. You get good nutrition. It ticks a lot of boxes for your yeah. nutritional value. You know? Health, carb, fat, get proteins with the seeds, with mm -hmm. the, and the quinoa as well. Complete protein. So it's a really well put together burger. There are many flavors. There's a lot going on in yeah. your mouth. Yeah, yeah. It's not just one aspect of it that captures yeah. all the all the flavor. Yeah, there's flavor nothing that overtakes anything else. No, it's like a blends very well. And then the aftertaste for me now is always the toasted seed, and I love it. I'm so positive. Yeah, I value flavor very highly. Usually, I don't really care if something is absolutely horrible for me, mm. but if it tastes amazing, I'm like, I'm here for it, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's not a 10 for me. It's a really solid, like, well, 9.3 because of the nutritional value. Yeah, I put us as well, 9.3. Yeah, <laughs> With everything we've talked about, like the nutritional value, the healthy aspect of the burger. 
It's basically how satisfied are you after this meal? It's very satisfied, yeah. Satisfied, yeah. It's very filling. Mm. I mean, just a burger and I'm almost full. And I still have tons of potatoes left, a bit of a salad. So it's a really good deal. I don't like these potatoes, but that's just me. I would like maybe just a normal sweet potato with it or something. Yeah. That it would add the health value. Because yeah. I think this burger has the value of health over other burgers. I mean, I love fried potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... well, it's, they're, they're not completely fried, just a little bit. Oh, uh, they're good. I'm just eating the potatoes now because I'm a little bit greedy. Mm. It's good. It's good though. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, I'm very satisfied after this meal. It's tasty, healthy, filling. It's got the complete protein. The value there is really good. So even if you are doing a little bit of a healthy diet, like I imagine and know you are, <laughs> this is definitely an option that you have. And I said, I didn't like the potatoes, but I'm eating them. You know? <laughs> yeah. I value healthy meals, but you know it's not on my priority. I would definitely go for this option, even if I had a lot of other uh, tasty, juicy, dirty burgers. I would definitely hit this one because it's healthy. So it's it's a 9.5 here. A really nice meal. Yeah, it was. And a message to the world. <laughs> it's an honor to be here. Do your best each day. Take that just day by day. And, uh, and if you're eating vegan, I think you are taking one step towards a better planet, better, better world, better health. So I appreciate you having me here and good luck with all of this. Thank you so much. I really appreciate hearing that from you, man. Cheers. And now the result. This super tasty burger got a total rating of 9.28. The second best rating so far. I love juicy burgers, but this one just took me by surprise. The spelt bread makes it a great healthy meal and it actually is possible to change the potatoes for healthier sweet potato, just like Becky wanted. In conclusion, a definite must try for everyone. Got is originally a restaurant in the Westman Islands, so if you go for a visit to the islands, Got is a must eat. Honestly, if you know Icelandic, Becky gives out so so much value. Check out his Instagram for content. At last, if you want to see the full list so far or check out the other episodes, check out my website thelostislander.com or follow me on social media. Thank you so much for watching and have an epic week.